This is an ultrasound study of a 60 years old male. <coughs> and on the image you can see on the left side of the screen that this is the left portal vein, this is the ascending part of the uh, uh, left portal vein and this is the right horizontal branch of from the level, uh, entering the left portal vein. This is the left lobe of the liver in transverse section and these here you can see the dilated bile ducts are seen. This is the ligamentum venosum, this curved linear structure and this is the quadrate lobe for the segment 1 of the liver, this is the IVC, this is the portal vein, non-dilated patent, this is the common bile duct. Now the common bile duct measures 6.6 millimeters, this is, which is within normal dimensions. This is uh, hepatic artery in transfer section, this tiny cystic area. See, uh, the, this is the gallbladder and note the wall of the gallbladder. The wall of the gallbladder is thin and thick. It is thin at, in this region and it is thick anterior uh, wall. Internally you will see a lot of uh, fixed thick debris along with layered out uh, ecogenic material within the gallbladder lumen that is non-mobile. Now because of the pressure from this uh, material and the gallbladder pathology, these findings are being noted and are very initial, that in, are in the very initial stage of development. Now let's uh, study it on uh, real time. This is the Well, this is the gallbladder. Internally, it's uh, full of ecogenic material. You can see this is a very thick debris, very thick debris and uh, ecogenic material, non-shadowing. Here again, the fundus, the, uh, the anterior wall, and uh, this small amount of bile seen. And this is the portal vein, this is the liver. This is the gallbladder in transfer section. Its outer wall is uh, irregular thick as it measures approximately 4.2 and more than 4 is considered to be definitely abnormal. Now this is the another view of the gallbladder. that the gallbladder, this is the small amount of uh, fluid or uh, the bile, these are the ecogenic areas, fixed, non-mobile, in abundance. So with thick uh, GB wall, thick debris, fixed and layered out ecogenic material, within the uh, lumen of the gallbladder is uh, very much consistent of uh, the gallbladder disease of aggressive pathology until unless proven otherwise and uh, here you see it, it gives a cystic appearance within this is the gallbladder and this is a cystic, a cystic uh, area within the lumen of the gallbladder with fluid. This is an ecogenic area. Again, a non-shadowing ecogenic area. No calcification is seen. The wall is relatively irregular in outline. So 
I am showing you the uh, gold bladder in different and from different angles. Here, this is the pancreas. This white band is the pancreas, head of the pancreas, splenic vein, spinal mesenteric vein, and uh, this is superior mesenteric artery rise. This is superior mesenteric artery rising from the aorta. No paraortic band adenopathy is seen. Portal vein is patent. No porta hepatic band adenopathy is seen. There is no mass relating to the pancreas. The pancreatic duct is not dilated. Here I am getting the gallbladder along with the pancreas. This is the gallbladder and this is the pancreas. This is splenic vein, photosuplenic confluence, superior mesenteric artery in transfer section, the aorta, the spine, the liver. So this is a case of gallbladder pathology. Gangrenous amphysemitis. It can, it can. Is it amphysematous? Yes, it can be, because you see here, this is a small ecogenic particle giving uh, comatal artifact, suggestive of air, so amphysematous uh, gallbladder or gangrenous gallbladder, the possibility of these uh, two cannot be ruled out. Thank you.